All right, thank you, Janela. Now, Labor and Social Security Minister Shahini Robinson has lost her battle with cancer. She died this afternoon at her home in St. Anne. Krista Campbell recaps her political career. Shahini Elizabeth Fakuri Robinson was born in Claremont, St. Anne. She attended Immaculate Conception High School in St. Andrew and the Miami-Dade College in Florida, where she majored in marketing and public relations. Before entering politics, Mrs. Robinson worked in the banking and tourism sectors. As a key supporter of the Jamaica Labour Party, she burst onto the national political scene in February 2001, handpicked by then JLP leader Edward Siaga to be the party's candidate in the surprise by-election in St. Anne Northeastern. This after a frustrated Danny Melville of the People's National Party, PNP, resigned as Member of Parliament. It was a safe PNP seat created in 1959. From that time up to 2001, the PNP had won eight of the nine times to the JLP's one win in the 1980 general election landslide. In the 2001 by-election, Shahini Robinson created a stunning upset, defeating the PNP's Carol Jackson. She would go on to comfortably win the seat for the JLP in the next four general elections and a by-election in December 2010 called over her U.S. citizenship, which she had obtained in 2006. As part of that case, the North Eastern Town MP eventually had to pay $4 million in legal costs to the PNP's Manly Bowen. Mr. Bowen had originally claimed $15.3 million in legal fees after Mrs. Robinson admitted in the Supreme Court in September 2010 to being a U.S. citizen when she was elected to Parliament in 2007. The court subsequently declared the North East St. Anne seat vacant and Mrs. Robinson retook it in a by-election after renouncing her U.S. citizenship. When the JLP returned to office in September 2007, after 18 years in the wilderness, she was appointed state minister in the office of the prime minister with responsibility for local government and later transferred to the Transport and Works Ministry in 2011. In March 2016, Prime Minister Andrew Holness appointed Shahini Robinson to his cabinet as the Minister of Labor and Social Security. She remained in that post until she died. In the past, she has described herself as more than a politician, but a social worker as well. She said her parents nurtured her with a strong social conscience and she's always wanted to help the less fortunate. For us at the ministry, an important part of the agenda is the need to secure and maintain decent and safe work for all children. Safety and wellness is a right for all workers and a legacy for future generations. Shahini Robinson died leaving her husband and one child on Friday, May 29, 2020, after battling cancer. She was 66. Krista Campbell, TVJ News. In the meantime, there's been an outpour of tributes following the passing of Labour Minister and Member of Parliament for Northeastern St. Anne, Shahini Robinson. Dozens of people showed up to the minister's house in St. Anne today to pay their respects mere hours after her passing. Kelisha Williams has that story. Dark clouds and raindrops, fitting for the mood in Claremont, St. Anne. It's where the MP for North East St. Anne, Shahini Robinson, spent her final days before losing her battle with cancer. Family, friends and well-wishers came out in their numbers after news of her death spread. The rain forced many to seek shelter, but others were determined to get inside to offer words of encouragement to the grieving relatives. There is no doubt that her passing is a great loss to uh, the, the cause of public service and you know, as you can see here at her home uh, the, she's going to be fun to remember and she will be missed uh, significantly. The fact is that she's always been here for everyone and she supports people unreservedly so much so to her own detriment she's never been involved in anything She's always been there for everyone and her own health comes second, welfare of the people in our Centre. Counsel for the Limehole Division, Geneva Gordon Bailey, was especially torn over the death of the person she called her mentor. I said to her one day, she 
tell me and when we start to talk about something, I say, Madam, you know, say when me not deal with the people, them for one day coming like something wrong with me, she said, there you go, you're going to be a good counselor because the love for the people, you start to feel it, Diane. When you do this, you will do it. I am really, really hurt, really, really hurt. For Prime Minister Andrew Holness, the country has lost a true patriot and his great personal friend. A servant of the people, a much loved political representative, adored by her constituents, a humanitarian and a great personal friend. May her soul rest in peace. Opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips has also extended his condolences over the minister's passing. Shahine Robinson was unique in many respects in a highly polarized political environment. She always maintained a basic decency and sustained good relationships with all members of parliament of whatever political persuasion. For that reason alone, she deserves to be commended. Kelisha Williams, TVJ News.